See how many kicks the old white. Ooh, one kick wonder. What is up, guys? We are at Brushy Mountain. Oh, buddy Kobe. He's got his YZ250. I'm on my new YZ250, and I've never been here. And honestly, this is about the second time I've ridden this bike. I've had it for probably about three months now, but we've been riding four wheelers all summer long. It has been too hot, but today is a beautiful day. Anyway, the weather is perfect. It just rained yesterday, so no dust. Everything's gonna be a little slick. I think today's like a high of 70, so you can't really ask for a better day. Some jumps already? Hell yeah! He's got a 135 inch back tire on that thing, so I gotta stay off of his ass or I will be covered by the end of the day. Oh shoot, this is cool. I wonder if there's any creek rides here. Ow! Told you I'd be getting hit with mud. I'll be honest, I've never ridden anything like this. Uh, I used to live in Jersey, all the trails are super sandy. Long straightaways and jumps in the sand pits. But I also have never really come in hot, Kyle. We're staying out of the mud today. I know y'all are used to me playing in the mud. But being muddy on a dirt bike is not fun. He is not taking it easy on my brand new goggles. He's just, I guess I can stay on his glass. <laughs> oh Lord. I thought Cody's assassinator threw up a roost. <laughs> that, that damn 135. <laughs> I'm ripping. I'm like, yeah, I gotta stay off his ass today. Get right up on you, right in the mud. I'm like, I'm like damn. Ah. See, like, an RZR would be a lot of fun back here. You could really get ripping. Yeah. But I feel like, on yeah, on these main roads, but you're not ripping it through these trails. Oh, this new bike is so nice. So I used to have a 2011 KX450. And I mean, that thing was fun. But it was just older, it was outdated. The suspension was a little rougher. And I just picked up this YZ250. And honestly, it's got, I missed the 450's power, but this thing's lighter. It's got plenty of power. And the suspension is nice. Just tight. I could see myself hitting a damn tree and breaking some knuckles today. But this is what his bike is set up for. It's got, I think he's got flywheel weight, 250, then big oversized tires, bark busters. Woo! Coming down this hot. That's a nice strap off. <laughs> That's a little different riding. Like I just haven't ever messed with anything like this. This is definitely like, tech, and that's where your bike, bark busters, flywheel weight, bigger tires. We're coming down that downhill. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come a little too quick for this. And this is a race bike, not a trails bike. I like it. Cody's got a YZ125. Braden's got his KTM. I think it's a 250. Tim used to have a bike. Uh, he might get another one. I think Julius is talking about getting a bike. Just bought that brake lever! Ah! 
That back tire was a little too slick for that. Dude, I just bought that brake lever and broke it. Dang it. I was coming up on your butt and I was like, oh shoot, that's pretty rocky and I hit off this ledge right here. I was just talking, I was like, I wonder how long till I fall. Yeah. Whee! All right, now I got no front brakes. And a little bit of embarrassment. <laughs> That's exactly what I did the first time. I hit that right there and just shot up in a wheelie. I don't know how I got in this position. All right, we didn't die. We lost one little lever, that's okay though. That was just one of those like, uh, I'm not even gonna try to save this cause I'm gonna get hurt if I do. I'm just gonna let the bike drop. You know what to talk about. Ah. Eco mood. Ooh, ooh, ah. I tried to get Brayden out here today, but he's got a wedding to be at this evening and knew he wouldn't be back in time. But I knew hair scrambles and stuff used to be his thing. He hasn't done it for a while, but he's got the bike for it. I think he used to ride this place all the dang time. We'll go down if you want to go brake. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a new brake. It'll only take 10 minutes to change, not even. The funny thing is I just put this on last night because I broke another lever the other day. Well, actually, I was washing the bike and dropped it off the stand and she broke. Oh yeah, this is a good way to cool off. room to do wheelies around here. Ooh, it's getting warm out tonight. Go back to the truck, grab some money, get a new brake lever, grab a sip of Gatorade, get back to it. All right guys, round two. I totally videoed replacing all this and showing you how easy it was. Going up and getting parts and then I was going through my GoPro, clearing out some old footage and I just deleted that video but I didn't delete the first video of me falling and breaking it, so I'm glad about that. I'm telling you, we played on one trail. I'm already half-ass tired. We're gonna have a little bit of a jump in footage, but sorry, I can't help you with that. I was talking with Kobe and he said, dude, I got an extra set of bark busters at the house. If you wanna swing by, we can put them on. And I'm like, freaking bet. Cause like he's saying, when you're riding them single tracks, you're so worried about smashing your fingers on the trees that you kind of go slow. What? Yeah! I have no idea what he just said. I was pretending like I knew. Anyway, his bike's set up for single track. He's got probably about three grand into his suspension, wheels and tires for it, flywheel weight, and I'm on a race bike that I've only ridden once. I'm a little rusty. This isn't really my thing, but I feel like I'm keeping up okay. And of course, the trail he took me down nobody's been down yet today and there's a good amount of people here it's a really nice day it's already 12 o'clock and all these people are out here riding oh i love the smell of a two-stroke i used to have a really clean oh i still have it but a, an 04 cr 125 with a title which is rare and i ran clots, i ran clots oil in that and that stuff smells so good i think he's got yama lube in his and it doesn't smell bad, but not the biggest fan of it. That's not a good spot to sit, bud. Wow, this track is running out. Alright, when they say motor cross track, that's a stretch. <laughs> I missed my back break. Ah, oh, come on, you got right in my way. I ever shot the fuck out of that second one. <laughs> The first one was super smooth, the other, the second one I went, boom! 
Boom! I guess it was landing out of the second one. I need to buy some Sienna's because talking back and forth while you're riding is super fun. It's kind of hard to link the uh, audio for that. But, ew. It's muddy here. These trails would actually be fun on a Can-Am if you're on stock tires. Because you can really get ripping through these trails. This is a workout. I'll maybe run a mile collectively over the course of an entire year. I pretend like I'm in shape, but... Boy, am I not. So exciting news guys, so these next two weeks are going to be some good weeks. Uh, we got Cole Jean coming up from Florida, he's coming up for October Bash at Busco Beach. That'll be the week of, well you guys will probably be seeing this video about the week before. Um, that'll be October 9th, 10th, and 11th. Our entire crew is going out there, Colt's coming up with his guys. So there will definitely be a lot of content from there. Woo! But he's coming up the weekend before. So we're gonna ride around trails at Cody's, Braden's, probably play around behind my house a little bit. He's got his killer 850 on 37s coming up, so he's gonna embarrass us in our mud holes. Uh, he's also bringing his Defender. I really wanna check that thing out. It's not something that I necessarily would buy or have any use for, but they look like a whole lot of fun. But he's coming up the week before, like I said. Oh. Anyway, he's coming up the week before. We're gonna do stuff around our area and I'm sure him and Brady are gonna make some content all week. I'll be working and then that following week we're all going to Busco Beach and we're gonna spend uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday out there. So this is some technical stuff. In my last video at the end if you watched the whole thing you saw that I bought a nice little $200 beater. I'm trying to convince everybody else into buying some beaters so we can maybe have a demo derby or rally racing or something. So there might be a build slash unbuild series on the Clown Vic. That's what I'm naming it. I think I've got some wheels and tires that'll bolt up on that. Definitely, definitely gonna have to do some saws. I'll trim in a fit, but that's gonna be definitely part of the fun. If you know anything about Jeeps, that thing's got a solid rear axle and I've got a welder. So we're gonna link and oh, we're gonna link and lock that thing. And that just means welding the gears in the back so that both wheels spin. So just one wheel peels. That's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. I don't know where we're doing it at yet. We got a few spots we can possibly go have a derby at. Yeah, I gotta wait for everybody else to get vehicles. If you're just starting out, you guys are killing these videos. I think my one video is like up to 80,000 views, which to me is insane. I uh, just started like two or three weeks ago. Hey, I need everybody to do me a favor. Go down in the comments and let me know what kind of stuff you wanna see. We can have more dirt bike videos like this definitely getting to be better weather for this not as hot if you guys like the kind of goofing around vlog style stuff one day i know i gotta bring you guys to work follow me on snapchat all the time people ask me what i do for work but basically i run conduit for verizon and att and sprint oh yeah rip it now Woo. oh my god this dude's got the endurance of not me <laughs> i know this is gonna be like three minutes of footage but we've been riding for pretty hard for about 15 minutes now. Oh, he's trying to take me up the hill climbs now. Curious if I just pop my front tire. A little low. We'll go throw some air. Oh, God. I'm hot now. I'm not too hot. That last little run was good and breezy. After the wedding, I'm either buying a, another Honda don't get a Honda. Or I'm getting a Renegade. You heard it here. Don't get a Honda. What? I'm getting a Renegade 570. Dude, the Renegades yeah. stomp it. I feel like the 1000s are just... You do not need a 1000. Yeah. If you're going to buy, if you're going to buy one, get a 650. Because at least a 650, you have enough power to kind of throw it around and play with it. The 570 can be a little gutless sometimes. And honestly, I mean, what what makes you pick a Renegade over an Outlander? Yeah, I mean... I get a 650 Outlander. Yeah. XMR. If you're going to go for the XMR. I consider just getting a fucking cheap Honda. Something I can yeah, something you can rip. Like if I'm trail riding, this is what I want to trail ride. I don't. Yeah. Didn't they say to run like 11 psi in these? Maybe. <laughs> Cody was sitting there spraying SE1 all over his Renegade, in the garage, and he just started spraying random spots on my bike. So half the bike's clean, half the bike's dirty. This is a kick-ass tire-changing stand. 
but it's in my way. Let's get back to it. Honestly, this, slate, this clay can be slicker than rock sometimes, too. <laughs> Did I not just call that? I was like right here. Ah. Tell nobody goes up that path very often. All right, let's start a counter on how many times I fall. That didn't work. <laughs> That's how you do it. Hell yeah. You know how you get better at riding, guys? You ride with somebody that's better than you. Cause they just kick your ass all day and it makes you try harder. I know damn well I ain't making up that. I was looking at that except for that one little rock. That would definitely be easier. That's one way to do it. Ah! Stop spraying me with mud! Because we're taking this path. Ah! Dang it! I saw that coming! So basically, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you just watched me fall all day. But who doesn't love watching people fall? I mean, watch me rip around all slow on trails. Oh, that's a cool view. I think we started like right over there. Oh yeah, he told me we started over there and he said this is where the truck trail comes out at. I'm tired now. Alright guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope y'all had a good time watching me fall all day. No more wheelies. Anyway, please like, subscribe, share with a friend if you enjoyed it. We're gonna keep these uh, videos a little sporadic. Do something different every day. Not just watching the same thing. But appreciate my buddy Kobe for bringing me out here, showing me the trails. I've never been here. I had a hell of a time. Uh, definitely need to get a fresh back tire and some bark busters and I will be excited to get back out here. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Keep being awesome. Full send as always.